Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Mobby Interactive Table, also known as the Mobby Magic Surface because it works on tables, floors and beds. I'm going to start by showing you one of our virtual painting applications, showing you how a very little movement can have a quite a magical response. So I'm literally moving a little paintbrush across the surface of the table, this is an ordinary white table, and colouring the image, the black and white image that's there. You can hear the music's playing in the background, that's only going to happen when I'm moving. So it's a lovely reward for getting active. This can be done by many people around the table at the same time. I'm going to invite my colleague to paint from the other end. Obviously the music helps to make it a relaxing activity that can calm somebody that's maybe feeling stressed or agitated. This is another virtual painting app but far more of an occupational reminiscence feel and do be aware you can use your hand instead of a brush. This is a similar idea, you are painting but this time you've got individual silhouettes to colour in and each of these is a little dog. Perfect for discussions about favourite pets and favourite breeds. And if you want those images to stay there a bit longer, you can increase the fade back delay and that will give you plenty of time to choose your favourite and have some meaningful conversations with those in your care. And of course you can sing along to the song as well. This application works in a very similar way, but for quite a different purpose. So again, you just have to gently move your hand or a brush to reveal the image underneath. This time we've got a an old-fashioned sweet shop and as we brush and reveal sweets of maybe your childhood that you would have maybe spent pocket money on. Great for conversation starters, really help staff to get to know their residents better and to have some really meaningful conversations. Now once you've revealed most of this image I'm just going to stand back and let that return and then the next time I actually go into the image You'll see it's no longer the sweets beneath, but a view of inside the shop, a traditional sweet shop. So you can use this to go on a, a virtual journey. Okay, something a little different now. This is one of our scatter applications. And as I gently roll the ball across the surface, you'll see what I mean. The image starts to scatter. This is feathers across a night sky. I'm just going to turn that background track up so you can hear very meditational but still quite active encouraging somebody to interact with somebody across the table and making a, a simple activity really quite special another example this time quite a seasonal feel to this one I'm going to pass the ball across again and as the blossom disperses hopefully you can see that blue tip there instead of music with this one I think I'm You'll be able to hear the sounds of a garden where we do think it's important to have natural sound effects on lots of our applications. So really bringing nature indoors, particularly for those that are missing their gardens. And if you wanted to see that bottom picture a little bit longer, all you have to do is increase the move back delay so the next time you scatter the petals you can see the picture and enjoy it for a longer period of time it becomes quite a challenge to scatter all the petals out of the way and there we go one of the things we pride ourselves on is having applications that are really diverse in content and this is an example of one for somebody that maybe has a passion for egyptology or ancient history as you wipe away the sand, you really reveal ancient Egyptian artefacts. We really do believe it's very important to get wide-ranging content to meet people's varying tastes and personalities. We all have such different life stories um, and finding something that really is meaningful for somebody can really help staff get to know those that they're working with and um, really begin to relate to them. Why not have a day in the Alps, maybe with some Swiss chocolate, and then you can hear the cowbells there. We 
really want this to be an opportunity to, to travel all around the world from the comfort of your sitting room. I'm just going to explain a little bit about the menu and how you can navigate your way around it. At the top here we have a description of the application that's highlighted. So when you move across, each app gets a little bit larger as you select it and the text that accompanies it explains what that one is about. So this one is called fruit. Uh, the description tells you it's all about large varieties of fruit to reveal and the notes just explain that this is a great way to encourage appetite and good nutrition. So all those notes can be really helpful in selecting an activity and help you know what it's going to look like before you choose it. Again, a very little movement and you're dispersing those petals to reveal a wonderful display of fresh fruit beneath. Hopefully those will really get the taste buds going, making people thirsty and keen to eat fresh fruit. So it can be a very useful app from that point of view. In this activity, although it's a scatter app, it's far more about getting in people encouraging them to move, pushing those hot air balloons up into the sky. And if you want to extend reach, we do have buttons that will help somebody reach right up across the table. All of these activities can also be done on the floor as well. Steam coming from a railway platform and as you disperse it you see a wonderful picture of the steam train coming into the station at Cork. Yes, as you can see we have a collecting the shells application here. The shells are scattered across the sand. We've got the sounds of the sea on the seashore and as we interact with each little shell we can move it across the sand either bringing it towards ourselves or making a little pile. You want to use this to extend your reach. A really lovely way to interact. Perfect for a namaste type session where you're working on all the senses. So here we have one of our splat applications. You can see these rosebuds moving across the lawn and the idea is to try and catch each one and open up the flower. So you can wipe across it or tap the surface, or stretch out with a baton to extend your reach. You'll probably hear the sound effects as well of a garden playing in the background. And if that's just too fast for somebody to follow, you've got the option to reduce the speed right down so those petals are moving really, really slowly. In fact, you can go right down to static and catch them all that way. And if somebody is finding that their reflexes need a little bit more work, then you can really start to speed those flowers up. We have had videos sent to us of people frantically catching them all with incredible speed. That's great to see. This is one of our most popular applications. It's called Bubble Pop Game. So you can see they're moving around on the surface. And as we tap them or swipe across them, you pop those bubbles. It's really satisfying and a great way of having intergenerational fun. And they just keep coming back. I'm going to extend my reach now. Great to play on the floor as well. You could throw bean bags at them, roll balls across them. Lots of ways of playing it. It's our cracking eggs app. Uh, with a lovely song to sing along to and on the final egg a reward of a delicious sponge cake. This is an example of one of our virtual water applications as you can see very realistic water effect with fish swimming and responding to our movement so just by following those fish you can chase them across the table or the floor a really lovely sensory experience. And if anyone finds it at all disorientating, obviously be aware. Um, it's not for everybody. But for many people it really ha it does have quite a wow effect, especially when it's on the floor and you can paddle. Maybe make the odd ripple that way as well. This time we have a typical rock pool. And starfish, uh, little wrinkles, anemone, and the sounds of the sea on the shore. And again, if somebody wants to 
hear that a little clearer. Those sound effects can go right up. So you can even use it for a meditation session or again for a namaste sensory experience. This is another of our water applications. This one's called Beach Pool. Um, I'm just going to put this little plastic lid down here and, and catch some fish on it. I hope you can see that there. They're programmed to swim towards you wherever they see movement they will follow. So I've got quite a few of them now swimming towards me. There they are. So if you had quite a few of you around the table, there's nothing more magical than getting a shoal of fish to respond to your control. This is our happy birthday application. A great way to celebrate a birthday. And as you wipe away the candles or virtually blow them out, you can see them going out one at a time. And then out come the balloons and the screams. We call this one candle music and each candle lights up on interaction and plays a different note. So wonderful for those who are feeling musical or creative. Another physical activity game uh, works really well on table or floor. I'm going to use it with bean bags and I'm going to do it as a colour matching activity as well. I'm going to go green now. So, this activity is really good for turn taking, spatial awareness, and on the floor, it's really good for, for getting in those underarm or overarm throws. Um, and for lots of people to take part in it as a great floor exercise activity. This application works really well, as, again, as a physical challenge game. For groups of people, particularly on the floor, where you've got everybody gathered around in a circle. We've had up to 25 people at once playing this game. So, I'm going to aim for a puddle. I'm going to go for that one over there. Out jump the fish, and the music starts. So you can remember how many fish were in each pond as well. Uh, this is another game for two players this one um, and it involves pushing counters across the table and seeing who is the winner. So it kind of is on the feel of a traditional fairground game which would be familiar to those that would have done shove penny. So I'm going to shove this casino chip. I did light up two. You can either have it if you light them up you score them or you can say you only score if you land on it depending on how strict you want to be. I'm going to go again. There we go, I didn't quite land on it. I'm going to go for the 150. Ah, I got it! Yay! Okay, this is another traditional shove penny type game. We have scores in the boxes um, and they light up and play a tune as you travel over them with your penny. So again, really good for mental agility adding up those scores and really get that competitive spirit going. So I have a score there of 80, 60, 20 and 10. So 170. Let's see if I can beat that. Okay, so 170 to beat. Here I go. Oh, I think I might do this. Looking positive. Oh, overshot it. Yay, 275. Wipe applications are the easiest to customise. All you have is a foreground image and then behind that you can add any photo of your choosing. Here we've got a lovely happy day at the seaside. In this application we've got a lovely variety of reminiscent objects that will be familiar to those that lived through life in the 60s. This is our squashing tomato game. Again, a great one to play when grandchildren maybe come to visit. You've got the satisfaction of squelching those tomatoes. And a reward. Buona pizza. Oh, a giant pizza. 
Okay, so here we have an example of one of our quiz applications. This is Spring Quiz. So we have three possible answers along the bottom and a question along the top. And this one asks, which spring flower is saffron made from? So I'm going to start by trying daffodil. Uh, it tells me that's not correct. Um, tulip, no. But crocus is correct. And it then moves you on to the next question. And now we are asked, who starred in the classic film Easter Parade? Um, and if you're listening, she's actually singing along in the background. Um, I happen to know this one, it's Judy Garland. I'm going to move on now to the next question. Again, another flowering question. Get the idea. That's the end of my demonstration today. I hope you found that useful. I hope it gave you insight into some of the benefits that our interactive table could bring to those in your care um, and the wide variety of content that we have. There are so many different ways of using it. In fact, I often think it's your imagination is the only limit. So thank you for watching and um, I hope that was useful. Do get in touch. Thank you. All of the benefits I've mentioned during this demonstration, the way it encourages movement and physical activity, promotes greater socialisation and provides means for sensory experiences have been backed up by our independent research project with Care Research. To find out more, please see our website for details.